Hey guys, welcome back. JT here for DelicateBeats.com. Today I'm really excited to show you my brand new drum kit. It's called Smoke 2. It comes packed with sound hits, loops, um, divided over four categories, boom bap, trap, EDM, and trailer sound design-ish stuff. So let me show you what it's capable of. Let's go. Once you've downloaded your copy of Smoke2, you get a folder like this in which there's a Smoke2.nki file. Double click on that to load up Smoke2 into contact. From the main interface, you have the choice of four kits, boom bap, trap, trailer, and EDM. There are also some effects which you can turn on and off by clicking on the labels and you can apply more or less of the effect by turning the dial. At the bottom here, you have four groups of samples. The kicks, the dry snares, the wet snares, and finally some percussion loops. Smoke 2 comes with a brand new effects page. So if you notice here, there are two tabs. If you click on effects, you get this page here from which you can turn on and off a bunch of very interesting drum shaping effects, such as the transient shaper, which is very interesting because if you pull the sustain all the way to the back here, you get a, a lot of ar artifacts that are really interesting. And also you can control the attack to make it, the drums even snappier. Saturation works the same as the tape saturation, it's just another tool to, to make the drums fatter, especially in the mids. Next, the distortion, obviously, just bring the grit out. Uh, I've programmed it so it doesn't, you know, go overboard with the whole distortion thing, but if you just ap apply a little bit, it can really make your drums crunchy. Next is the lo-fi if you want to go for a more futuristic kind of distortion. Stereo panner to make the drums wider. Delay, which is self-explanatory. Flanger again to make the drums a bit more futuristic. And finally a second reverb if you want to apply different types of rooms with the convolution on the first tab. So now on to the good stuff. Let me show you what Smoke 2 is really capable of. I've prepared four demos in the genres of the four kits. First, let's listen to the musical part of the Boom Bap demo. Let's add a little hi-hat. And here I want to show you how I did the hi-hat. I'm basically using three different loops and I just switch off and on from the main at the end of each of the bars. You see, it just ha adds a little variation at the end of each bars and it makes it more interesting. So. Now let's add in the snare. By the way, if you don't like the large uh, decay at the end of each of the samples, you can always use the wrench tool here. And at the very bottom, you have the ADSR, the attack, sustain and release envelope. And you can basically just, you know, lower the release, for example, to make it tighter. So boom bap.
And again, these kits sound really awesome just by themselves. So if I mute the bass and sample, So this is the boom bag kit. Now on to the trap kit. For this one, I've programmed a little uh, synth part using my kit Black Diamonds, which is also available at delicatebeats.com. So let's listen to that first. So I'm basically using the bass and some of the, the loops up here and little synth parts. So let's, uh, I don't know, let's filter this one just to make it darker and let's add, a, add in some hi-hats. Again, as you can see, I used two different loops just to make some variations at the end of the bars. And for this demo, I decided to layer two snares, one dry and one wet. I feel like this, the, the main snare is not snappy enough, so what I'm going to do here is demonstrate how using in the effects space the transient shaper, you can really make this a lot tighter. See the difference? So this is the trap kit. Now on to the trailer kit. I call it trailer, but really it's just, you know, more sound design-ish, more exper experimental type of sound with this one. So again, I programmed the bass line. And some cinematic strings. So as you can see, the hits are more grungy, dirty. And this is a trailer kit. And finally, for the EDM, let's listen to a little 
percussion loop that you get with this kit. On which I added the stereo panner again just to make it wider and a little lo-fi. So as you can see, very versatile. You can get into many different types of urban drum programming with Smoke 2. Um, it's going to be available today, Friday, um, on DelicateBeats.com. And um, just to show you again real quick how quickly you can get into... ...really different styles of urban, urban music. And really with minim minimal, you know, sound design, sound shaping, uh, I'm really just using little high pass um, EQs, um, low pass, just a little, a few different things. So it's, it really sounds good out of the box. And if you've come accustomed to the sound of smoke, well, I'm sure you're going to love smoke too. For th so thank you for watching. Pay me a visit at delicatebeast.com. Um, if you have any questions, obviously, feel free to write me an email and um, go out and make hits. Delicatebeats.com.